to another page raise tutorial. Today we're going to make a layout featuring Sandra Bullock. So first we're going to go to Google Images and do a quick Google search and we're going to narrow it down to Oscar Images. And we're going to use the advanced search feature to find images that fit a little bit better into those curtain areas. Now remember Whatever images you select, be sure you do have permission to use, and then save them to your computer. Now we're going to go back to PageRage.com and get started. Click on any one of the Create Your Own Layout banners. We'll be taken to the Create Your Own Custom Facebook Layout page. First thing we're going to do is add colors to our left curtain, right curtain, title bar, and we're going to leave our background just plain white. So we're going to add a little bit of gray here, a little bit of gray here, and a little bit of gray here. Once you've colored all of the areas you wish to color, click on Next Step. Now the next step is to upload images. We don't have a background image, so we're just going to go straight to Title Bar. If you look up here, you can see that these are the actual dimensions of the Title Bar area. You can choose an image that fills those dimensions completely, or you can choose an image that you can repeat. The settings are automatically set to repeat the image across and up and down, but if you choose to just tile across, you can click Tile X, or you can click Tile Y to tile up and down. You can see here, this is the actual image. If you don't click on either one of these, whatever image you select will be centered um, in the title bar area. But we do want to tile this and we want to add a little bit of transparency as well. Now we're going to go to left curtain and load our image for the left curtain. Sometimes you may find images that you love but that don't quite fit. So you do have some options. As you can see this one is a little bit wider than the frame so you can just drag it over until you have the portion of the image that you want. And if you wanted it to be a little bit smaller you could actually reduce the size or you can just leave it as is. We're also going to add a little bit of fade here. We're going to go up to our right curtain and load the image for our right curtain. Again, this image we love, but it's not quite right for the curtain dimensions. So we're going to resize it and then drag it over until the portion we want is in the frame and we're going to add a little bit of fade to this side as well. So once you have all of your images in place, click on Next Step. And the next step is to select your text color. So the text color is um, the text where your name appears and also these little title bar areas too. So you can add any color you choose. You can add a custom color if you like. But for today we're just going to leave it at black because that shows up best on all three of those areas. So click on Next Step and you're almost done. F profile transparency affects this area here. It works great if you added color to the background or a background image, but we didn't do that today, so we're just going to leave it as is. And then we're going to name our layout. So. Once your layout is done, you're going to click Save and Publish, and you'll be taken to a success page. Once you're at the success page, that means that your newly created layout is on your Facebook profile. And the success page also gives you the option to share the profile that you made. For more instructions on sharing your profile, uh, your, sharing your layout, excuse me, go to pageRageBlog.blogspot.com, and you get more information. This is a sample of what the success page looks like. And you can post pods exactly like this to any website or blog. Or you can post sample images of your profile like this. And your friends or whoever comes across your blog, website, whatnot, can enjoy the layout that you made. And that wraps it up. Thank you for joining us for another PageRage tutorial.